Aloha champions and welcome to a new unit in science. Normally this unit would be a CKLA unit that we do all together, but I'm trying to move us along in CKLA so that when we get back in person in March, we can start into our geology lesson for CKLA. So in these next few science videos, this week, next week, and that last week, right before we get to spring break, we're going to be looking at inventors and some of the inventions that they are famous for. Now, it's important for us to know as we move ahead that for these lessons, it's not gonna be multiple choice answers for you on Google Forms. I'm gonna do my best to uh, give you a PDF of what I'm reading so you can go and read it on your own or watch this video so you've got the choice of what works best for you. For these first three videos we're doing in this series, we're going to be exploring some famous scientists and inventors. We're going to be looking at these same questions for each inventor, okay? So there's going to be two inventors today, two inventors in our Friday video, and three more inventors next week. For our inventor videos, what I need you to do is I need you to identify what are the popular inventions that this inventor came up with. Describe a challenge or disappointment that this inventor faced. And name one fact about this inventor or the story of his or her invention that you find interesting. So three questions for each inventor. Today we're looking at two inventors. So I want you to write down answers for six questions. Three for one, three for the next. Okay? So... What inventions did they work on? What's a challenge or disappointment that they faced while making these inventions? And name one interesting fact or uh, thing that you learned about this inventor or their story, okay? So to start off today, we are looking at Mr. Thomas Edison. Thomas Alva Edison is the most successful American of all time, many people consider. He patented over a thousand inventions in the United States. He had humble beginnings, however, born on February 11th, 1847, in Milan, Ohio. He was the last of seven children. His family was poor, and his education consisted mainly of being homeschooled and reading his father's books. He got his first job when he was 12 years old, selling newspaper on the Grand Trunk Railroad. In his time off, he read in the public library. He conducted chemistry, experiments in the baggage cars, and one of his experiments set the train on fire. But Edison wasn't deterred. Even then, he knew that you often have to figure out the wrong way to do something before you can find the right way of doing something. One day, he rescued a child from the path of a moving train. The boy's father, who was trained to operate a telegraph, op offered him lessons in te telegraphy. Ugh, can't speak today. <clears throat> he soon became a telegraph operator, and before long, he was inventing remarkable improvements to the telegraph that got the attention of financiers, people with money who want to invest in him. With their support, he opened up a laboratory in Menlo Park, New Jersey. His lab was the first of its kind. It was a busy place where experts collaborated, working on multiple inventions at the same time. Research and marketing happened under one roof. In this idea-rich environment, Edison invented the phonograph, the first device for recording sound. He also created the incandescent incandescent light bulb, his most famous invention. By the time that he died in 1931, Edison had patented an astounding 1,093 inventions in the United States. He patented more abroad. These include the kinetoscope, which launched 
the movie industry, the microphone, the rechargeable battery, and a cement manufacturing process. Edison believes this list cements his place in history. So Thomas Edison, what are some of the things that he invented? What are some challenges or disappointments that he came upon as he was inventing? And what's a fun or interesting thing that you learned about him? Okay, here's a picture of that telegraph where he got his start learning how to type out Morse code and a phonograph or an early turntable where you'd record music onto a disc and it would play back with this needle vibrating in and out of there. Okay, so that's inventor number one. Our second inventor for today is Mr. Jacques Cousteau. He is a lover of croissants and aquatic life, and he is the seafaring Frenchman Jacques Cousteau. Jacques Cousteau likes excitement. He was born on June 11, 1910, in the small town of Saint Andre de Cubazac, over in France. So I probably mispronounced that horribly. Sorry. Cousteau was a curious child. Although not a good student, he was always building things and taking things apart to see how they worked. At age 26, he was in a terrible car accident that required months of rehabilitation. Armed with a pair of goggles, he began swimming daily out in the sea. He quickly realized that he wanted to be able to explore the ocean. And to do so, he would need better equipment for breathing underwater. So he decided to try to invent it. Here we have a picture of Jacques Cousteau in his famous red beanie. He did a lot of uh, documentaries where he would film himself underwater in all of his gear, such as diving tanks and so forth. Cousteau and his inventing partner developed the aqua lung, which allowed people to stay underwater while breathing from air cylinders or small tanks that can hold hours worth of air. This advance opened human eyes to aquatic life in a new way. It also allowed for undersea rescues and recoveries that would have been impossible before. Cousteau also helped invent a deep water camera. As an avid undersea explorer, he wanted to share with the world what he experienced in person. He increased interest in underwater archaeology by spearheading the exploration of a famous Roman shipwreck. He went on to lead many more explorations, to write books and to make films about his voyages and about ocean life. His television series, The Undersea World of Jacques Cousteau, was so popular that it ran for eight years. Jacques died at the age of 87 in Paris on land but he was most himself when he was at sea. He once said, From birth, man carries the weight of gravity on his shoulders. He is bolted to earth, but man only has to sink beneath the surface, and he is free. So, now that you've got a little background information of Thomas Edison and Jacques Cousteau, our first two of seven inventors we are going to be covering I want you to take some time and tell me what inventions did they create? Tell me about challenges or disappointments that came up in their lives. And name at least one interesting fact that you have about this inventor that you learned through this video or through your own reading. So with that, I hope you stay awesome. Take your time to write those down no multiple choice today, and I will see you real soon.